Okay, it should be live. Hi, it's me, your mother goose just seen, and I am back with another Amberlynn Reed React. I would love to welcome my gaggle back to my flock. Today I'm gonna... Oh, Simba was just eating. <laughs> Today I'm gonna be reacting to Amberlynn's latest video titled January Weight Loss Update and a Snack Plate. I'll have a timestamp so when this reaction begins, pinned in the comments, and it'll also be in the description of today's video, though... I mean, it, it's like the first, it's the end of the first week of February. Why are we getting January now? <laughs> I was a little confused. And like her snack plate situation is ridiculous, in my opinion. When she shows her snack plates, her church, chartu, what do you, how do you say that? Charcuterie board? Charcuterie board. Sorry. But anyway, she's like, a, <laughs> she loves her snacks. She prioritizes her snacks. She arranges them very... It's like almost, it's almost, it's nearly a religious experience a little bit. Hey, Michael Fink. All right, let me see who was first. Uh, Mish was first. That's right. Hey, Mish. Six Bacons. Bala, Thornback, though they can't stay. Uh, Freckled Unicorn. Katie, Nanny, Reppy, Megan. Hey, everybody. Uh, just give me a second. One second. Of course, as I, I began streaming, of course, Simba demanded to eat. And his food is right next to my computer, so just bear with me for a second. <laughs> Alright, Simba, you're done, right? Okay. Oh boy, Simba. I'll be back. He's very cute. Like, he's a very noisy eater. And look, Rosie's here. Hey, Rosie. Alright, she just got out of view. Sorry, everybody. Ah. Oh. Hold on. My cane got tangled in my pants. All right, hey everybody. This was kind of an interesting intro and beginning. <laughs> so something curious happened to me today, <laughs> right before I went live. You know me, I'm like sorting my hair and I had my hair pinned back like so just to get out of my face for a second. And uh, I didn't intend to wear it this way for the stream, but my clip broke. And now, I don't know how to take it out. <laughs> Kristen said, the most just seen comment, quote, my cane got tangled in my pants. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Uh, anyway, so now I can't take this clip out. I didn't intend to wear it like this because it's kind of weird looking, I think. But I don't know. How, I mean, this happened literal five minutes before I was about to go live. I wanted to fluff out my hair and wear it nice. Spent all the time refreshing it, used the Wee Dad Vitacurl Mousse today. I was all excited, but I can't show it off. So, anyway. <laughs> I don't know how to fix it. My mom's going to help me get it out after the stream. <laughs> it's like one of those clips. Uh, like this part where, you, where you, uh, you use this grippy part to open it and close it, right? So the hair clip in my hair, these parts go down so it lays flush with your head but the one side broke off so now it's secure in my hair and I have no way to release it I don't know how I'm gonna take it out <laughs> Megan said you have to cut it out I know that's what my <laughs> that's what my sister's gonna say she wants me to cut my hair so bad uh yes my cane did get tangled in my pants they're anonymous it, it was only for a second. I was walking by my cane. The base of the cane became tangled in my pants. <laughs> it wasn't that odd. <laughs> anyway. My hair will grow around it. Thanks, Six Bacons. I guess I could brush it while it's in. Guys, it's so secure in there, too. That's what I loved about these clips. The clip isn't dangling. Hey, it's Faye. It's... it's very secure to my head right now. I have no idea how I'm going to take it out. I mean, if I cut... it's And it's right here. So if I cut it out, then I'll have, like, no hair. <laughs> I, I, I agree I need a haircut, but not this short. <laughs> the clip era. I'm sure it was Becky's fault, Matt Simmer. I'm sure... I didn't want to say anything, but, you know... Anyway... I know, I'm excited to see Amber's update too, because apparently it's a weight update. Oh, I I didn't react yesterday because, whatever, I don't know, it's 
the Monday stream. I figured I'd do it today. I'm so pissed about my hair. I wanted it to look so nice today and I put, I began doing my hair at like 10 o'clock this morning. I'm so mad. <laughs> I just did this briefly to get out of my face for a second. And now it's permanent. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yoke Bear said I could hit people with my cane and see if they like it. You know, I don't know if I can make jokes like that on YouTube anymore. I don't know what's going on with this site. <laughs> I'm excited to see Amber's update, too. Um, does she... I forgot, though. Like, did... January weight loss update. Does she have a goal? Or, like, did she give herself a goal? Her goals keep changing, and she keeps being proud of herself anyway. So I don't know what's going on with her weight. I forget what her weight even even is. Um, I, I know that the doctor told her she had to lose one pound. So here's my question, and this is why... I, I, I titled this like I did. Her friggin' weight obsession. Like, if you... <laughs> Here's the thing. Like, did a doctor tell her to keep up with her weight? Is a doctor telling her to weigh herself? Is a therapist telling her to weigh herself? Yes, one pound. Apparently, the weight loss surgeon only wanted her to lose one pound. I'm just wondering who's telling Amber to weigh herself and put it on YouTube. Because from what I understand, putting her weights on YouTube, you know, she causes her problems somehow. So I'm not sure. God, I'm so ticked about my hair, guys. I was going to fluff it out so nice. I put so much effort. <laughs> I'm so mad. And now it looks all pinned to my head and dumb like I'm wearing a yarmulke or something. Anyway. No, really. But, uh, Rebecca said her goal is actually to lose as much weight as possible so she can prove how special she is to the weight loss doctor. So she has to be, like, the best patient ever. That's, like, she can't just be a patient that did what the doctor wanted her to. Oh, no, she's the doctor. You want me to lose a pound? I'm going to lose 50 pounds. How about that, doc? That's going to be Amber. Yeah, Harper said... When Amber says she stopped therapy because she is better, they will not they will not approve her. Is that why she stopped therapy though? I don't think that's why she stopped therapy. I forget why she stopped therapy. I, I honestly I feel like I don't even know what's going on in the Amberverse, and it's not like I don't care, or it's not like I haven't. I've been reacting to every video, <laughs> and I forget. <laughs> Uh, right. Sarah said, I'm sure the weight loss surgeon told Amber she has to film herself weighing herself and put it on YouTube. Otherwise, she doesn't qualify for weight loss surgery. Who the F is telling Amber to do this? Guys, even I wouldn't want to weigh myself and put it on YouTube. Are you serious? I stopped doing that a long time ago because, honestly, it started to feel kind of weird. I don't, for myself anyway, I don't know if it was weird for you guys, but I started to feel like I was way oversharing. My friggin' 1.6 pound fluctuations. Like, I started to feel weird. So, like... <laughs> like, if I was on an active weight loss journey, I guess it makes sense to share your weight. But Amber doesn't seem to be on one of those, either. I don't even know what she's doing right now. I don't know what the goal is. Right, Rebecca said she stopped therapy because she felt like they were haze, health at every size, and they told her that she has to treat her trauma... And ED first. Right. I rem that's right. I remember that. And that's why she stopped the therapy. Alright. So, I guess she doesn't feel like she needs treatment for her ED. Because now she's telling herself she's got something else entirely. And not an ED, but it, but it's an addiction. Guys, I, I'm. that's right. You guys are reminding me. I just forget what her actual weight is. I have no clue. <laughs> Let me guess. 512. I don't know. 522. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, Mom Amy said she admits she can't say no to triggers. Well, what disorder is that? <laughs> if, you, if you can't say no to yourself, what disorder is that? Is that even a disorder? Or is that just general self-control? I don't know, guys. I don't know. I guess that's what I'm getting at, Shelly, is how, how she shifts the story. Uh, 
So Rebecca said, I think her weight was 520, maybe it was 516. I don't even remember. I, I have no idea where her weight is. I think my eyes glossed over the last time she told me her weight. It's always five something, guys. It's five something. That's five. Amber thinks there's a big difference between 522 and 512, but in my mind... <laughs> Right, as Shelly said, I don't know, she just gives random weights. That, that's what it, I don't know. I don't know what these weights are. I... <laughs> yeah, Mom Mom Amy said, well, now, come on, about three weeks ago, she said she's not addicted to anything. Well, times have changed. 515, 520, you guys are throwing out random numbers. Well, okay, Rebecca said, Amber says that she can't go to the grocery store because of all the triggers. But avoiding it just makes them more powerful. She needs to expose herself to her triggers and sit with the discomfort. You know, what's interesting is when I think of a, like, like when I think of Amber and her shopping addiction, it's like, I, I wonder if shopping for foods online is also triggering because she's so used to just mindlessly pointing and clicking and buying whatever she wants. So I, I imagine it's difficult because let me tell you what, when I shop online at Whole Foods, you know, I buy Whole Foods on um, the Amazon website, it has a Whole Foods grocery section. And every time I go there, every time I go there, it recommends the fresh friggin' vegan donuts in the bakery that I've tried and are delicious. They're also full of sugar. Like one donut had 31 grams of sugar. That's crazy. And 400 something calories for one donut that wasn't even that big. I am, but they are so good and it is in my face every time I shop there. So if you don't have self-control in the grocery store, I don't see how online shopping is less triggering because there's delicious pictures of things you can buy and it'll be delivered to you in a few hours. Um, let's see. What are... <laughs> Six Bacon said, I'm glad she realized grocery stores have food. <laughs> right, I agree, Mom, Amy. It's easier to talk yourself into something online, right? And if, especially if it's a food item and it's only five fifty nine, it's like, yeah, I mean, why not? Why not add that to my cart, right? All right, you guys are giving me some numbers. Uh, 567.4, 518.2, 618.2. <laughs> I don't know what her weight is. Right? G Gigabit said those vegan donuts are my favorite donuts. You know who loved those was my, um, my nephew ate them. Oh, Tim said go Eagle, go Eagles. Thanks. I, I'm excited for the, for the, I just hope that it's an actual game <laughs> this weekend. I, I really hope it's an actual game. I don't want to shut out. I don't want accusations of like bad calls or bad injuries or none of it. I just hope it's a good game. Win or lose, I just want a good game. I don't want another shutout. I don't want another... I don't want weird stuff. Nobody's allowed to get a fifth down at the Super Bowl, okay? Except maybe us. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> I'm teasing. I want no funny business. No, I just want a good, I don't, I want no shutouts. I just want a good game. So. <laughs> These are the highlights of your Mondays, Gurgloy. Yes, I love when I get to do the cozy stream. It's, it's cozy because it's, for me, it's cozy because it's later. So I can take time. So, anyway. <laughs> you're not late cole crystal uh actually this is about to start in a few minutes they said go treat chiefs yeah well you know we'll see how that <laughs> we'll see about that we'll see we'll see what shakes out sunday i'm so excited i just hope for an actual game so bad no funny business no fifth downs no you know 
none of that. No, no bad touchdowns that are then, you know, never reversed or anything. I don't want any of that. I still don't know why that, t that touchdown wasn't challenged. Because we got a touchdown. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Here I am talking about football. But the NFC Championship. We got a touchdown. The Eagles got a touchdown. That should not have been. Now, I'll fully admit that, you know, look, I watched the dang thing. Everybody knew it wasn't a touchdown. Why wasn't it challenged? I wonder if that set some kind of tone. I don't know. Are there? Are you only allowed to have so many challenges in a game? Maybe that's what it was because it was early in the game. But I don't want shenanigans like that. So, heck yeah, Mom Amy said the aesthetic of shopping at Whole Foods. It's the aesthetic. And the aesthetic, you walk in there, it just makes you feel like that you made a good choice because just because you walked into Whole Foods. And good luck not buying anything. Just saying. And whatever you buy, it's going to be at least $7.99. God, I haven't actually been in a Whole Foods in a minute. But whenever I get to go inside a Whole Foods, which they do have a, they do have a scooter for me. Whenever I get to actually go... Whenever I get to actually go to Whole Foods, I feel so fancy. I wear something nice. <laughs> so anyway, I might, I might, I might go sometime just to go instead of save myself the ten dollar delivery fee and just go to Whole Foods. I feel so fancy when I get to go there. <laughs> you live two miles from the Super Bowl stadium. Get out, Naomi. Yeah, at Whole Foods, you can walk into the bakery. Um, yeah, the, the bakery smells amazing. The bakery has fresh baked vegan things. Guys, I freaking love that store. Maybe I'll go there on my birthday just for fun. It'll be like my birthday treat. Just go. Plus, you can get food there. They have, you know, like they have like a hot bar. So, I know. I missed some tips for life as juror. All my friends are in LA now. Anyway. Oh my god, Megan, you gotta go to the Whole Foods. You feel so fancy just going in there. And yes, it's expensive if you get the expensive things. Like, I swear, the people, you say Whole Foods is expensive. You're probably buying, like, the fanciest cheese in the cheese section or something. But I, that's one of the reasons why I shop there. It's not as expensive. Yeah, I also wish it wasn't owned by Amazon, Anna. But I'm kind of... You know, I mean, I'm kind of, I'm just trying to save money. <laughs> I did, I did live in Philly, Carrie, briefly for like a year. It was enough time. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Tim said Amber needs to physically go to Whole Foods so she can get some exercise. And they don't live far from a Whole Foods. I think there's one by their apartment. Like, that would be great exit just walking around the store a little bit. It's so convenient to have them deliver it to you, and it's not much more money. But getting out and going and interacting with people... I know, Whole Foods is so yummy. <laughs> yeah, and I also love 365 brand, Anna. I love 365. I've never been disappointed with a 365 product. I don't think. But... It's so tough to avoid Amazon, and especially because I'm less able and it's so convenient to have things delivered to me. I realize I'm feeding the beast. And I hate it. So. I disagree completely, Matt Simmer. I've shopped because I save money shopping at Whole Foods because otherwise I shop at Instacart. And it's just, I, I can get much, I can get things I need much cheaper at Whole Foods. But I usually buy 365 products, that's why. Which is their store brand. I love their brands. They have everything available organic, pretty much. Like, I just... I love Whole Foods. All right, I, I, that's enough. I've talked about my hair. I've talked about Whole Foods, right? <laughs> Everyone is so sick of me talking. Okay, let's turn Amber off. She looks great in this thumbnail, by the way, doesn't she, guys? I, I love how she carefully chooses a very flattering picture of herself for her friggin' thumbnails. Like, she looks like she... She just, like, she just woke up 
from a nap she took because she's very ill. That's what she looks like. Like, why would you make this your thumbnail? Like, wait, what's TTLA? Kelly, by the way, thank you so much for the email. I need to, uh... I will, I will be shopping for Wee Dad soon. However, guys, it's right. I forgot to tell you about this. I had an MRI. Megan checked hair. Check. Football check. Whole Foods check. One more. My MRI. One more check, guys. I had... And... Wait, you tried the jalapeno hummus, Cole? I didn't recommend it. Amber recommended it. So you gotta thank Amber. Though, I wanna try that hummus myself. Anyway, I had an MRI on Saturday. And it was... I thought this one would be better because it was only one instead of two. But the one I had on Saturday was so long. And my back started to hurt so bad while I was laying in there. And it was I was laying in there nearly two hours. And my back was killing me. Oh my god. My back was freaking killing me. And I went in there so relaxed. I learned from the first one. So I went in there... Very relaxed, guys, right? So, I went in there relaxed, and there was a point to me telling the story of my MRI Saturday, and I forget. But, oh my god, Megan, it was so, yes, it was two hours, it was so long, and my back was killing me. Oh. And now, my doctor's going to talk to me about these MRIs on, in June. Though the one, the one good, th there's one good thing about my back hurting. It was hurting like the middle of my spine while I was laying like that. Which is weird because I sleep on my back every night. So I don't know why it hurt while I was in the MRI. I don't know. But anyway. Um, so the one good thing is whatever was hurting, the MRI was of my thoracic spine. So they took a picture of it. So if my back was, uh, well... Yeah, that's the thing, Gurkloy. I I just went over. I just got over sciatica myself. So, anyway, yeah, it's in June, Kelly, because it's not. It's not an emergency. It's they they aren't doing this for like a. It's just a checkup on my MS. Yeah, I mean, if I have a problem, I can see him soon. But anyway, so they took a picture of my thoracic spine. So. Well, see, I just don't know. Like I said, I sleep on my back every night. So why did it hurt so bad and on Saturday? Like it was, oh my God, it was hurting bad. <clears throat> yeah, it's routine. That's right, Kelly. This is routine. It's not because, it's not because of my sciatic, sciatica. Because honestly, I don't really have much sciatica pain anymore. Except when I first wake up in the morning. Though my back hurts, like my butt hurts first thing in the morning. But then... It goes away after I'm like up and walking around for like an, not even an hour. It goes away. So anyway, I, I that's not why I have an MRI. I have an MRI to see friggin' the what's dress. It's thoracic spine. Your thoracic. Is that how you say it? Thoracic spine. It's like the middle of your spine. So anyway, we'll we'll see. I don't know. Yeah, I do sciatica stretches too, Naomi. Well, I do that in the morning too. I'm sure that's what helps me start to feel better. Like, I don't take... I don't even take ibuprofen or anything. So, I got that over with. Oh my god. I, I, thoracic? Your thoracic spine? Or is it thoracic, thoracic? I'm not sure. It's the middle of your friggin' spine. That's what they took pictures of. And it, it took forever. And then they had to give it... I had it with... I had it with and without contrast. So friggin' I was laying in there forever and finally they were done. And he was like, all right, now we're coming in with the contrast. So they shoot me. I have a friggin' bruise. Can you guys see it? It's right here. Anyway, I have a friggin' see that? Look at that damage. I mean, that's, 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 uh, what's the word? That's, um, dehumanizing. Thorac thoracic. Thoracic. Thank you. I have been saying it correctly. That's what I thought. Thoracic. Anyway. Anyway. So they gave me contrast. And then I had to do it all over again. 
just so I can get these. Now I have these floppy disks that have the scans on them. I don't know how to show show you guys my scans because my computer doesn't have a CD-ROM. So anyway. <laughs> It did not turn my skin blue, Scooter Tron. I agree. Matt Summer said they need to find quicker ways to take pictures of your of our insides. Tell me. I know it's a lot of damage. I know, like, I, I, guys. Not floppy. Di no, it's a CD. It's a CD. CDs, floppy disks. They're both obsolete. Both. I don't know. It's on a CD, which I don't have a CD-ROM. I don't have, like, do they, do these even exist anymore? I don't know how he's going to read the CDs, but apparently they are. So, anyway. <laughs> no, it's actually a new MRI, Yogi Bear. They, they warned me about it because, because I have a piercing I can't take out. So they warned me. They were like, well, you haven't had a problem before, but maybe with these new ones... Oh my god. Thank god I was so relaxed while I was in there. Friggin... Oh, I'm not a resilient person at all, Ruby. I was crying in there, even though I was so relaxed. I don't even want to tell you guys everything I took to help me relax that day. So let's just move on. <laughs> Alright, well, speaking of relaxing, it looks like Amber's a... <laughs> I mean, that's what she's best at, right? <laughs> Alright, so January weight loss update. She should have just... I, I don't even know where her weight is. I, I guess whether gain or lose, Amber, I guess I'll just believe you. Okay, so I have a little grocery haul. So I think... More groceries. Are you kidding me? She just bought groceries. What on earth could she possibly need? She just bought groceries. I... Okay. What I'm going to try to do is, like, I don't want to buy, like tons of food at once and i also don't want to physically you just did though all right go to the grocery store because by buying tons of food at once um not only is it like overwhelming it's like oh my god i have to cook <sighs> okay i know that's like all psychological but like it's gonna prevent me from binging because i'm not gonna have like super large quantities um but not going to the grocery store physically i noticed that like going to grocery stores like you just naturally pass foods that are triggering. So I'm going to be... I, you know, what What I buy with... What a great pause I did. What I buy when I go to the store is what I need for what I'm making that week. I think that's what makes sense. You decide what you're going to make this week. And so, I mean, if you're going to the store with like, I don't know what I'm going to make. I don't know what I need. La, la, la. Let me just buy whatever I want. Then that's, you know, when mistakes happen, Amber, you got to... Decide what you're eating that week. Am I? Am I, am I, I think I'm gonna try to do like Instacart and like the Whole Foods order. I know the Whole Foods order was pretty big because like yes, I we didn't really have like anything, but there was a few things that I I don't know, guys. She bought that food because she didn't have food. I feel like she goes shopping so freaking often. I did need, so I did get an Instacart. Um, so don't come for me, okay? Because I I feel like I know what my triggers are, and I'm trying to like shy away from those things and like going to the grocery store and like walking past the candy aisle or the chip aisle or seeing something that so browsing the aisle online is less triggering i'm currently craving um i don't want to have that and i just don't think i'm strong enough right now so yeah okay okay so okay. i did need some ziploc baggies so okay got some of those um i like making like little mini charcuterie boards are not even charcuterie boards i'm just gonna call them like a snack board and i like olives right, to go see, with that's it. what i'm saying she likes to make a snack altar she likes to have it all laid out like all all of her all of her little uh all the little little treats that give her the little dopamine hit so i got some green olives um we needed some black pepper okay so got some of that and then I got some of this mixed nuts. It comes with cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, pecans, and pistachios. Great. So that could be good. Um, got a thing of cottage cheese. I personally love cottage cheese. Um, I might actually have some right now, if I'm being honest. I got two things of these Oh Snap Dilly Bites. It's literally just 
pickles. But like... See, even just saying that, like, I love cottage cheese. I think I might have some right now. Like, you don't... She's very whimsy. You know what I mean? Like, she does things based on a whim. Like, let me eat what I feel like. Let me spread everything out. Let me, let me pick and choose what I want to pick and choose instead of just... Like, she never has a plan, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know about you guys, but I know exactly what I'm making for lunch. I, uh, had a late breakfast, a late giant bowl of oatmeal, so it's not so later, but I know what I'm gonna make. Is that weird of me? Do you guys know what you're eating next? Let me know in the chat. Because I think that would behoove Amber, having a plan. Got all the, the juice. I got another, um, shrimp cocktail. Because Feline and I really like this. I like to eat it with the cocktail sauce. She likes. I, I, I don't know. She loves. She likes shrimp sometimes. I don't get it. <laughs> Thank you for saying it. Megan said five green olives are twenty five calories. Yes. So are black olives. Thank you for finally saying it. <laughs> I thought I was weird. Like like when I eat olives, I take them very sparing. Like I don't want it. That could pile up quickly. 25 calories for five little things. I mean, that are delicious and addictive and I could eat the whole can. Watch out for the olives. Shrimp and put them in salads. So, yum. Oh wait, I actually got three of the pickles. So I have another one. Okay. Three of those. And then I got a uh, thing of, ooh, this is leaking. Ma'am, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Oh God, turkey. She's so friggin' ridiculous with me. I'm sorry. She's friggin' ridiculous. If you think it's weird, if you don't want to eat it, leave the animal alone and don't buy it. How about that? I never say stuff like that. But like, you act so repulsed by it, so why are you eating the animal? Leave it alone. I'm sorry, guys. I had to say it. She agitates me so much with her friggin' weird meat whatevers. My hands, folks. That like really grossed me out, so Felina's... Wiping it off. Right. Oh, it grosses me out. Oh, it grosses me out. Oh, God, I just had to buy it, though. I just had to buy it. Something or someone forced me. Jesus. Oh, it annoys me. Box. Um, some stuff I have to send in the mail, so don't mind that. And then I got two jars of this Classico because it's just good I've had that. That's have. really good. <laughs> Literally do anything with it. Um, when I made the stuffed bell peppers, this was one of the ingredients that I actually had. Um, I just used like a little bit of it, but it's just like really good flavor. So that's everything. Alrighty, so I'm hungry. So I'm going to make me a little snack plate. Right, that's what here. I'm saying, intuitive duck. She, thank you for saying it. You put it so much better. She's acting dainty. Ew, gross. I'm so girly. If you don't want to eat it, leave the animal alone. I'm sorry, I had to say it, guys. Like, it really... And this is, like, some cringe vegan thing I'm saying right now. But it's true. Like, if you don't want to eat it, who the frig is forcing you? There's plant-based sources of protein. I can't, guys. It just... Hey, Jimbo. I'm done now. But, jeez, I can't. I would do it for you guys to show you Ew, it's how naked. I'm doing it. You this think? Time. So, first things sorry. first, I'm going to have some... What do you think it is? cottage cheese i am gonna have a couple uh cocktail shrimp oh look this is just, look at this. this is like a religious experience for her right now <laughs> laying out all of her little she's she doesn't have to choose she gets to have everything oh my god <laughs> it's like honestly like a religious <laughs> look at what she's doing like who makes who takes this much effort having a snack, guys? I can't. Like she's so food obsessed. She's got to lay it out and aesthetically, and like she can't just eat. I don't know. I I snack just hovering over the sink while holding a container usually. <laughs> exactly, Jimbo. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. Um, but I don't I don't know about YouTube words and what I can and can't say. But this is like. I think this is more exciting for Amber doing something like this than most other things, if you know what I'm saying. Whoops. Actually, three. <laughs> and then last but not least, I'm just gonna have a few wasabi peas. So that is my little meal here. I could have used a smaller plate to be honest, but this is so satisfying to me because you have your sweet and your salty and your crunchy and your soft. Like I just, She's got to have sweet, salty, crunchy, soft. Like, are you kidding me? 
I can. She is so food obsessed. I don't understand all these years in therapy. This has not been addressed. And you know what? I think constantly talking about it, vlogging about it, uh, weighing yourself all the time. Like, it's not helping. And this is like obsession beyond obsession. Yeah, thank <laughs> Jimbo said exciting is a friendlier term. It's a safe for work term. Exciting for how Amber feels about food. <laughs> also have your protein and your fats and your... Protein and fats and your that, 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 and all the colors. Fibers and everything that you need. So, yeah. <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake said that was a snack between the three Uber Eats deliveries. Because remember, she's only ordering Uber Eats less often than she was, which before was three or four times a day. So she's only doing it once or twice a day now. Hello, hello. So I'm I sure. wanted to give you guys an update on my diamond painting. I okay. finished this one. This is the first one I've ever done. It's the one I started in my last vlog. Look at it shimmer. It's so pretty and it was okay. The Starry Night one, which the last one was from a subscriber, which thank you so much if you're watching. And then this one I got myself. And so she got herself one before little... she finished the one she already had. Any <laughs> section here. It's just it thoroughly helps with like I know I'm gonna, like... <laughs> Tyler said the shrimp next to the fruit is bothering me. The whole plate bothered me. For eat, or if I want to like pick, because as you guys know, I suffer with ex excoriation, mm -hmm. and it just distracts me from bad habits. I also want to say that I finished the flat share by Beth O'Leary, which is about or what I. That, like, sorry they, guys, I'm skipping all this. Sorry, sorry. Wow, big yawn. Aww. And if you guys remember, before we had a chair here. And then we had to move it for Christmas and we put a tree up. Mm -hmm. But I want to show you what Feline did. It's pretty freaking nice, I will tell you. So here we have a J. Cole poster. We have the weekend poster. Okay. She actually chose the weekend. She surprised me. Uh, this whole makeover was... Oh, hi. You see my fingers. <laughs> was for her because she did get... So where did the chair go? Okay, there was a chair... Then the Christmas tree was there. So where did the original chair go? Where's the chair? Is she going to show us where she put the chair? Us, and we needed a... I remember it was like a pile of... Uh, there was a chair and a pile of pillows. I, re I think I remember it. It's just where did it go? Oh my god, this is going to bother me. Bought for it. It's a record player. And you guys, it is so freaking awesome. We listen to it like every single day. So this is what we have set up. Isn't it so cute? She's saying we, but I have a feeling this was all Winifred. I mean, I don't think I've ever heard of Amber listening to vinyl before. This seems to be, it's either a new hobby or there was no we at all involved with this. So that is the Adidas Lego that I got her for Christmas. She completed it. And then under it is the sneaker book that I got her. Doesn't that look so cute? And oh, then it she looks like she looks like she really she's reading it. Oh, many vinyls, but two of them was a surprise for me. Plastic hearts. Um, Why is this the first time I've even heard of this? <laughs> Jimbo said, "No, she can't ruin records for me." Well. Here it is. With Miley Cyrus, and then... Of course, she has a Miley Cyrus record. <laughs> Where is the other one? Billy... You think Jade put together that bookshelf, Megan? No way. This has Amber's name written all over I it. Wish. <laughs> she surprised me with that one, too. It was so sweet. So we have some Bruno Mars, some Michael Jackson, and just some, like, other randoms. These are the only one that hasn't been opened and listened to. Oh no, it's just so comfy and cozy and cute. And this is just like a fan that we use. Um, and then we have our little heater here. We do have a heater throughout the house, but uh, our windows aren't insulated. So that's mm. why we also use this in the office. Cozy. Okay, so Pink Sparkles right. got this for me. And I still haven't- Come on, Pink Sparkles, can you please stop sending her candy? 
So you got this in the mail, so you have to have it. Are you kidding me, guys? I can't. Just like, like why, King Sparkles, what like the blank are you doing? Why would you send this to her? She's trying to get weight loss surgery. Oh, my God. Look at her happy, happy, and greedily opening the package. <laughs> I can't. Wait, it's not candy? Not really? All right, what is this? What is this? Sorry, I, I got really upset. Oh, she looks very there's happy one. about it. Oh, there's more than one. Okay. Ooh, we have now and laters. Okay, I love now and laters because I love things that are super chewy. We also have... Wait, what are these things? Sweet tarts. Okay, as freaking adorable as this is, like, look how cute that is. What is this? Like them. I... Next one, which I think is the last one. <gasps> lemon heads. I love lemon heads. These are so what, what adorable. What even are these? I think they're just the little cutest things ever. Not really. Like, cut they... this part off. Do I have scissors in here? Are these keychains? I do, I do. Keychains for children. These are keychains. I'm glad they're keychains and not candy. I just... I don't know. I, I feel like my youngest niece out, has outgrown something like this. And what children has a key ring? I guess you can put it on your backpack. Because we don't need this fella. Right, right. Keychains that will trigger her to get the real thing. <laughs> that Thabto said, she said don't send food. So she should be throwing this crap out and not rewarding the sender with attention. Well, this isn't food. It's food-themed keychains. This will definitely help Amber want less candy. God, I got so upset. I really thought that this was candy, guys. I was about to friggin' lose it. They're plush keychains to show off your favorite brand, Jimbo said. Like, why does anyone need to know what your favorite candy is? <laughs> Like her, like her whole life already revolves around food. Now her keychain has to be for food related too. <laughs> okay, so this might be silly, okay. so don't come for me, but it's what's been working for me. So I'm trying to drink 64 ounces of water a day while also right. trying to slowly drink less diet soda. I used to drink like mm -hmm. no water and about four diet sodas a day. That's crazy. Sometimes five. She um, must have had the worst headache. My goal is just to have Speaking like one or two while drinking more water mm -hmm. so this might be dumb to some but it's totally fine but it's something that's been working for me if i take a sip of drink a soda a sip of drink that means i have to take a sip of water good lord and it's been helping me drink more water and it's also really good um to practice my sips because when i get weight loss surgery I'm not gonna be able to like take normal drinks. I'm not gonna be able to like gulp okay. my drinks. All right, all right, all right. So she's focused on what she needs to be focused on for weight loss surgery, it looks like. I can only sip. <laughs> so usually when I have like a- She's practicing her weight loss surgery sips. Cool, I can just chug this in one. <laughs> you gotta get the weight loss surgery first, Amber. Call today, be like, all right, I got my 16 ounces done for. I'll move on to my next 16 ounces. In a couple hours but i'm having to just like all day constantly sip sip that's like one of the like i don't know many... I, I, i'm i don't know i was hoping i'd be a little more excited by this video however i, I haven't seen does she show one more thing that she ate like that's all i'm concerned about are you following the what the doctor's saying about how to eat because i all i see are her friggin snack trays right and um i don't know if that's i don't know if i'm supposed to be believing that she's following what the doctor says based on the snack tray i just goals I, they said you know start working on so i've been doing that and it's just how about like, how about to help you drink more water why don't you get a bottle of water and try to finish the bottle i know that i know that's a i i know that's a crazy concept but it, it, it's something that maybe you guys can try doing too <laughs> it takes me so much longer to actually um, finish a water. Like normally, I could do my 64 ounces. I just chug my water, call it a day. But since I'm having to like truly absorb, like, hey, sip, sip, sip. It's just been a lot more effort. But to get more water in, take a sip. 
I, w I wonder if the doctor told her to do this too. <laughs> I can't. Take a sip. It's Practice your sips, Amber. This is what it is. Whatever works for you, whatever works for you. It's been working okay. for me, so. On top okay. of doing my week. All right, because Amber, if you want to be like Amber, everybody, follow her advice. Monthly <laughs> weigh-ins. I also want to do monthly weigh-ins where every day on the first, I tell you guys how much I weigh and how much I lost that month. Um, today is actually February 1st, so I did weigh oh myself. Oh my god, we're nearly a week, but well... <clears throat> I'm behind reacting to this by two days. All right, so we're behind already, guys. It's, I'm sure the gap's just going to keep widening at the from here on. And I was 5'11". It is what it is. 11.6. So that means... Wait, say it again? That month. Um, today is actually February 1st, so I did weigh myself. And I was 5'11.6". Oh, so my God! I was saying 512. I was so close. I was off by 0.4 pounds. Which I'm sure Amber would be very upset about for me to call her weight 512 and not 511.6. But I was very close, guys. And I was being sarcastic. Yep, sipper tracker. That'll help her get her weight loss surgery for sure, Naomi. <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> it was just since Sunday. By the way, today is Wednesday. Just since Sunday, I'm down over four pounds. Okay. Your girl's doing it, okay? She's doing it. So in total, in January, I am down, math, Amberlynn, math, 8.4 pounds. And that's all within, like, the last week because the beginning of January, it's just been rocky and something sort of clicked um, recently and I'm just glad because it's like I am fighting for my life. Okay. I'm fighting to get weight loss surgery, and I'm fighting to lose weight. I'm fighting to improve my health, and just, I need to do- Well, Amber, you're doing so well. Why even get weight loss surgery when you can do it on your own? That's what's next, everybody. Better be better, and I feel like the choices that I am making currently are really good, and I'm just really proud of myself for that. I have been cooking my meals, and I- Why don't you share them? Share the meals, dang it, so I can believe you. I've been ordering takeout, and it just feels, I don't know, it feels really good to be able to sit with that discussion. Uh, Karina asks, is this new or a retro react? I can't tell anymore. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, Karina. <laughs> this is our newest video. Even though it's recorded February 1st, this is our newest video. When I am craving takeout or when I'm craving something that I know I shouldn't have. Um, it feels really good to be able to say no and to sit okay. with that and to just choose me, choose health, <laughs> choose success. Oh, Amber's doing something different, guys. She's choosing herself this time. <laughs> it's, it's very different. So, hello, hello. Feline surprised me with the new Billie Eilish number two perfume, and I really- Oh, boy. <laughs> Winif looks like Winifred's trying to tell you something, Amber. Really wanted to smell it for the first time on camera because I did this last time with uh, Billie Eilish's first perfume. So now we have to do it with the second one. So her first one is more like a. Why it, like why is it always naked people? She can't just have like a nice flower. Like it's always got to be a naked person. A gold, and this one is a metal black. That's what it looks like to me. Oh my god. <laughs> so cute it's like the same design it takes a right and six bacon said all these gifts did vlogmas ever end amber got a gift for losing 8.4 pounds to pop off okay oh it's different than the last one which is supposed to be my babes is behind the camera so if you see me looking that's what i'm doing give her a minute give her a second this one but winifred's like thank god i'm smelling something else i could I'm already sorry that was mean I'm sorry. I can't help but make that joke if, if you get a perfume as a gift. The smell is more, huh? it's more potent. It's like in your face. This one's more sharp where her first one, it's more like vanilla, which is more rounded. Oh, Amber is, Amber is a scent connoisseur. She's describing it very well. It's weird. Letters have colors. Perfumes have freaking shapes. Yeah, this one. 
Perfumes have shapes. Amberlynn Reed, 2023. More sharp. It's floral. This one's more no, old Anna said. Well, the other one. <laughs> Anna said another naked lady for her collection. <laughs> Which is a good thing. Old lady perfume smells good, too. But Megan said she doesn't leave the house. Why does she need perfume? So that she smells good when she picks up her Uber Eats. Obviously. Ooh, smell that. I don't even know how to describe that. It's like really potent, like <laughs> florally. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake said not Amber trying to explain fragrance notes to us. <laughs> I can't. What's the real notes? <laughs> Buzzfeed yes. expert lane. Okay. I lied. Where are you? Oh, Amberlynn's a liar. Well, Am Amberlynn's trying to understand what a box is, it looks like. Now, but what you're looking at, Amber, is a container. That container contained the perfume that you just used. See see how the box is now empty? Previously, the the perfume was inside that box that you're holding. She looks very confused right now. I'm trying to help her out. So that's what a box is. Now the box keeps things together so that it doesn't get messed up in shipping. <laughs> anyway. Nope, not there. You tell me, baby. You teach me. Wait, there was there wasn't anything in the empty box. I'm surprised. <laughs> Chemist Lynn. Chemist Lynn is examining the uh, the box. Ooh. What Italian? Okay, that's an art. All right. These are the talking. ones that Feline got me for Christmas. It's the Discovery set of the Labo. Like they're all <sighs> naked. I'm probably but pronouncing that <laughs> so wrong, but. Here's the box, if you're wondering. Hell yeah, that's a nice box. And I have officially chose my favorite one, and da, 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 it is another 13. They all smell absolutely amazing, but if I had to choose a favorite, it would definitely be that one. And this is the uh, first Billie Eilish perfume that she came out with. And I don't know if you guys remember this guy. Oh, I remember here, this. Time to get rid of her. I just, I don't really know yeah, what to do with her. I don't know what the heck you were... did have I, I, my you know, is, Kardashian you're... crystal perfume in there, but right. I think I'm over it, so I'm going to be giving this away. I'm going to see if Feline wants it, though. Okay, guys, so well, well, I... Nobody wants that, Amber. For what purpose? I have a weight loss surgery update. So I was supposed to complete a dietitian course. Right. So... I have officially completed that course. Okay. And in that course, you just learn a lot, a lot, a lot. And there's okay. like goals that they want you to do and things that they want you to change and such. And one of them is write down all of your food. Um, you have to keep a food journal. Okay. And so today is my Oh my third God, day. she's going to have the best journal that this weight loss surgery place has ever seen. She's going to bullet everything perfectly, and there's going to be not one cross out, okay? Keeping the food journal, um, it has been very, very helpful. Like, I'm not counting calories, I'm not counting carbs, I'm not counting literally anything. I'm just watching my portions and choosing protein, veggies, fruits, healthy carbs, okay. and things like that. Okay. And this has just been super helpful because it's like sometimes... I do forget, like, what have I ate today? Like, so it's good to keep a journal of that. Okay. I really, really actually enjoyed the dietitian course. Um, it was like... Oh, I, absolutely. Key, key, sorry, Key Scribble said they're going to be shocked. They're going to be shocked by her food journal. It's going to be the most complete, and it's going to have more colors than anybody else's food journal. And it was really fun. Like, I just love learning. A lot of things I already know about nutrition, like being a yo-yo dieter. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to hear and be validated Aww. on things that like you already know. And like, yeah, yeah. so hi baby girl. Hey, baby so girl. that was fun. And the next thing was, so a psychologist. So she's not gonna tell us anything that she learned. You Oh boy, that's way too much accountability. We, she does not trust us with this knowledge. Was supposed to call me to schedule a appointment. And right. they said um, at the weight loss clinic, they were like, they're going to call between one to five business days. Mm -hmm. And it's been a little bit longer than that. Okay. So, you know, I took it upon myself to call because they said that if they don't call, 
within that time frame just give it a couple days and then you can go ahead and call so okay. i decided to call the person that like schedules appointments actually wasn't there today which was quite unfortunate um so they're actually going don't to they be... know that you're a vip oh no they didn't make special accommodations for her that's unacceptable for sure calling me on monday because the person who was there um left a note and then also emailed the person about it so i'm super excited um okay. for that monday call because your girl is so ready and i just feel so wait is that today that's today she's getting the call today everybody oh my god she's getting the call today it might be in the next vlog the call she might get the call everybody Oh my God, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Good, you guys. Like, I finally just feel like, it, it's gonna sound simple and it's gonna sound easy. And it's oh, gonna never. sound- Oh, never, not coming from you, Amber. Sounds like, okay, well, why didn't you do this before? I don't know is the right. answer. Losing weight is all about that discomfort because people fail at weight loss right. because they give in to their cravings and they overindulge and they eat too many calories period not amber trying to tell us how to diet not only is she telling us how to diet she's telling us why our diets fail because she's learned so much in the past two minutes guys is how you gain weight <laughs> you eat too many calories and it's simple say no mm -hmm. <laughs> like, no it's not that simple um there's a I lot mean, of it, i mean it is i mean yeah th there's a lot that goes into it she's about to say but is it or do you just make it a lot in your head? It's as simple as that's not going to help. That food's not going to help my weight goal. So I'm not going to eat it. It's literally that simple. Yeah. And then, she, and then she goes, oh, well, there's more to it. But uh, well, no, there isn't. It's just, it's just you put more to it. Anyway. Well, that goes with it, obviously. No, but obviously, obviously. What's so obvious? <laughs> when you are ready and you are passionate about your life and saving it, then the no is simple. <laughs> Sometimes okay. it's hard. I have cried. I have felt anxious. I have felt angry. I have felt overwhelmed. But the no is worth it. The discomfort right. goes away. You know, sitting with discomfort is powerful, especially when- But she's literally never done this before. <laughs> oh. I had to say no to myself every time I opened the pantry and there was friggin' double stuff Oreos staring me in the face, guys. Those are accidentally vegan. <laughs> but my sister buys them because everybody likes them. And I always have them in my face. I'm just saying. It's, you know, it's okay. I mean, anyway. You are. You know, I don't want to look like Amber Lynn, so I don't eat that. I hate that sounds mean, but, you know, it's... it's literal weight gain food so i don't i don't choose to eat it often able to be successful in that discomfort it's just every day i feel so much better i feel like i already am gaining stamina my breathing's better you know i'm just <laughs> it feels like i'm rapidly losing weight and i'm accepting it as what it is i don't even care as you guys know i was like freaked out about the whole rapid okay, you're weight not, loss you're, you lost four pounds in a week and you're 512 pounds you're gonna be okay, Amber. <laughs> because of my gallstones, but I don't care. There's surgery for that. Right. I have insurance for that. Right. I don't care. Right. I'm saving good. my life. Thank God. Okay. Yeah, I just feel so good. I don't. I don't know how to explain it. I also honestly think it's because I stopped getting high. Um, as you guys know, I was doing a lot of Delta Eight. Um, I was. It was. Hey! 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 Hey, well, look, okay, I'll admit, maybe, maybe it's not a helpful chemical compound for some people, okay? I'm just saying that for many of us, that side effect is not a deterrent. Though, I get what she's saying. I <laughs> know, it was Delta 8. <laughs> I'm just saying that particular chemical compound of which there's barely any in Delta 8, but that particular chemical compound, guys, look, it doesn't always, you know, make you uncontrollable. I'm just saying I used that compound during the entire time 
I lost 130 pounds, and during the entire time, I've been keeping it off since, which has been about seven or eight years. I need to do the math. Anyway, I'm just saying, don't don't spread fear and propaganda when it's not warranted. <laughs> Delta Lynn. <laughs> that compound makes your stomach ache, Michelle? That's such a shame. It helps my stomach when I have a stomach ache. It helps me so much. When I was hung over the day after the NFC Championship. <laughs> it was a crutch. It was something I was turning to. I don't even want it. I don't even think about it. Good. I just feel so That's much more like, crisp and alert, energetic. <laughs> like, uh, It's crazy. Anyways, Good. I do want to end this vlog though. I hope that you Thankfully. guys enjoyed. Um, I'm trying to aim for like every other day. Okay. Uploading, and I can handle this video. Um, actually, um, day after tomorrow, you guys will be seeing my weigh-in video. So yes. yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm here for it. Bye. Guys, I am so pumped. I don't know what I'm more excited for. Her next video or the Super Bowl this weekend. <laughs> guys, I really have to pee, but I'm going to be back. So can you hang on a second? Puff, puff, pass, Lynn. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> said that. Who said that? I read that. Hold on. But I really have to pee. <laughs> Declan. Oh my god, Amber just uploaded right now. Guys, I have to pee. I'll be right back. Ugh. Oh my god, you guys, should I react to her new one? Should I react to her new one? Should I react to the new one? Let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. Look, it's Rosie. <laughs> good, this girl knew I well. Look at that good little girl. Look at that good little girl. Oh, she's a baby. Look, she's got a sweater on. You can, can you guys see it? Oh, this little girl, she's so good. Don't <laughs> wake and bake, Lynn. <laughs> I, d I did do that this morning. I'm oh, yeah. So I'll react to the new one right now. But I wanted to say why I reacted to this a day late. That's right. That was the point of me talking about my MRI. <clears throat> I reacted to her. Um, I was going to react to it because she posted on. I guess she posted Saturday. Right? Yeah, she posted Saturday, and I didn't go live Sunday because I had such a tough MRI on friggin' uh, Saturday. I just needed a, a day off, guys. So I, I reacted today, and now she, uh, yeah. All right, guys, you ready to react to her new one? I think I'm ready. Because I, what is, oh my god. Way in week six. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited! Beating food addiction. So she she is cured of her food addiction and her denial and what is this? And anger. She's not angry anymore. Even though this is the angstiest friggin' thumbnail I think I've ever seen her post. Let me see if I can show you guys this. Look. 
<laughs> you guys see the <laughs> week week uh way in week six beating look how angsty she looks like an angsty teenager she looks like <laughs> it's like the phase my oldest niece is going through right now i'm pissed and i don't really have a reason but i am anyway <laughs> All right, guys, I have to react to this quickly because I want to be done by the time uh, the kids get home. Yeah, that's right, Six Bacons. Amber beat it all. She beat food addiction, denial, anger, all of it. All the, Those of us that spent all year accomplishing beating uh, denial and anger, well, Amber did it in one day. So I hope you feel insignificant because Amber is just that much better than you. All right, let me uh, turn this on. Hey, guys. Well Hi, Amber. Look how, look, this is what I'm talking about. She's got the whole kind of, it's like 1990s teenage angst a little bit. That's kind of like her look right now. <laughs> to week six of my weigh-ins. So in this weigh-in video, it's going to go like all the other ones. I'm going to answer five weight-related body. Wait, wait, didn't we just have a weigh-in that I just reacted to? Didn't we just have this weigh-in? Like, did what, the vlog I just reacted to, was that a whole week's worth of footage? I'm really confused. Didn't we just literally just have a weigh-in? I All right, well. Related food-related questions. Like how often is she weighing in? God. She has a weekly and a monthly. Okay, well, that matters. Questions that you guys have asked me either on Instagram or under my community post here on YouTube. And then I'm going to tell you guys my weight, how much I lost or gained this week, and right. kind of like how the week went. So... <sighs> You guys, since I've gone through menopause, mm -hmm. I don't take estrogen anymore. My hair texture is the worst it's ever been. And I think this is one of the big reasons why I wear my hair up in poop bun all the time. And people hate on me for it. It's because I, I don't know, it's just more dry now. And it, it looks like uh, if I could diagnose her hair, because it does look like there's a little wave to it. You guys know I'm obsessed with this curly hair stuff. But it looks like if she's going to be straightening it, she needs to do it in smaller sections. I'm going to guess that she's doing it quickly and impatiently because she has so much friggin' hair. It's, I can't believe how long her hair is. I mean, my hair is long. I can't imagine. Anyway, she's not taking her time straightening it um and, and i mean if she's if she wants to start wearing it textured she has to completely change the product she's using it's like these little a hair mask thank you sarah um i mean you can if your hair's even only slightly wavy you can there's products for hair like that you know tiny curls that i don't know where they came from i mean obviously it's not like curly hair but it's just like this weird waviness but it's just like so dry and the only way that it looks good in my opinion is if i straighten it but i don't like adding heat to my hair all the time it's a whole thing um that's not what this video is about oh, I'm but i'm positive it's exhausting to straighten six bacons that's why i don't strain my hair anymore it made my hair like all dry and the and bleh. Oh, i just feel really self-conscious yeah, she has to research, research different methods if she wants to start wearing it wavy, which I think she can, but see, a lot of people have hair like that where it's curly under here, but it's straighter up, up top, and that's hidden curly. That means you got, maybe you do have waves, but you got to kind of, the top that it, it got all straightened out because you straighten it over and over again, you have to kind of tease it to make the curls come alive. I did that for my niece. I'm just saying about anyway. it but i felt like i needed to wear my hair down like you have to start using curly products and applying the products when it's wet and then you can manipulate like you can create curl clumps with your brush it's a, it's a whole thing there's entire youtube channels about it right i'm just saying if amber's bored wants something to think about besides food she could you know actually do stuff with her hair instead of complaining about it all the friggin time more because poop bun is making me feel self-conscious as well so it's like absolutely the length of her hair is weighing it down username that's another thing thank you that's a, that's a whole other thing it's a big reason why i want to cut mine a little bit not too much though i like it long but anyway just it weighs it down right when do we win here all right let's get on to the questions first one is what's helping you this time a lot of people say one day what do you mean this time it's been like two weeks everybody's acting like she's freaking cured. Um, 
and I disagree. I feel like it's one discomfort at a time. You guys have been hearing me say the word discomfort a lot lately, and I think I want to explain a little bit more what I mean by discomfort. So when I feel the urge to eat, when it's just like out of boredom or out of like emotional eating or just like the food addict in me, that is the discomfort I'm talking about. Normally, I would just cave into those cravings, I would cave into those feelings, and I would just eat because, not because I was hungry. Right. Listen, it's not yeah. when I'm hungry. That's like the deciding factor here. I, I agree. Because Key, Key Scribble said her hair should be the least of her concerns. I mean, I want to agree, but also the length of her hair is like a serious... I mean, that would weigh me down. I mean, that's a lot of work to take care of hair like that. And I imagine it just goes downhill so quickly and so... Because she just doesn't have the energy to take care of it. So, I mean, she's going to be exhausted after surgery and she's going to want to take care of this crap too. I remember my... I, I, I usually keep my hair really long. But one time I came home from the hospital after an MS relapse... And my hair was like this. And I came home and I was like, Mom, just cut it off. I was like, just cut it. Just, I said, cut it to like here. I was like, I don't care what it looks like. Just cut it. <laughs> I just had no energy to take care of my hair. I knew it. Because uh. if I'm hungry, obviously I'm going to eat something. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose healthier options. Protein, fruit, veggies. Like if I'm hungry, it's not like my standard meal time then I will allow myself to eat one of those things. Okay. But what I mean by- I would love examples. Like She talks about this stuff, but she just shows us nothing that she's eating. Discomfort is when I just want to eat to eat. Mm -hmm. It's the food addict. I'm not actually hungry. It's more so head hunger and not like true body hunger. I'm this size because normally I would never have that discomfort. I would never allow myself to become uncomfortable because i would just right. cave and i'd be like oh i want hot cheetos oh sure. i have a craving so that means i have to have it <laughs> oh i want chocolate sure oh i want to order takeout sure but saying no is what uh karina asked doesn't she have a hair brushing tracker on her journal well she's got she's got a whole new she how many journals does she have now <laughs> i become uncomfortable and there's a discomfort feeling it's just one of those at a time and i want to say in a day i probably have up to five and they don't last long. They yes, thank you. Evie said, if Amber actually takes care of her hair, maybe it would be beneficial since it is self-care and non and it's a non-food activity. I agree completely. I think your hair is a great non-food activity. Like, taking time because it's a... I don't know. It, I've spent... I've invested not only money in the products, but also time watching videos about it and learning and all this crap. Amber could do all that, too. Right? Instead of friggin' constantly talking about and thinking about food, she can give herself something new. Not at all. It's like wave. God, I want her to cut her hair so friggin' bad. Like, I'm looking at her right now and it's bothering me. It needs to be cut, like, above where the bottom of the screen is. It needs, it, like, right here. Like, where mine is, actually. That would be a great length for her. It's still long. They come, it comes in waves, lasts about three minutes. And the more I say no, the easier it is becoming. God, and cravings are about three minutes. I remember that when I quit, uh, I quit smoking cigarettes, cold turkey. Of course, now I vape, but that's unrelated. And I started doing that well after I quit smoking. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it was a huge mistake. But the cravings lasted about three minutes. I remember that. It's like a muscle, a willpower muscle, um, metaphorically here. It's like, the more you use it, the more you use that muscle, the stronger it's gonna become. And, you know, I know this journey isn't gonna be perfect. You guys have seen me drastically- Oh, trust me, Amber, we, we're not expecting it to be perfect. <laughs> wait, my whole journey on YouTube. And that's just like reality of a lot of people who try to lose weight. And unfortunately, mine is on YouTube, documented, under a yes. spotlight. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yep. And I know that's my fault. Most people who reach my weight, they have the same past. It's constant yo-yo down. Yeah, but yours is a little unique, though, because in, the, in this process, in this yo-yo process, you did a lot of blaming us. 
So that was a little unique about your journey, Emperor. <laughs> and all you're really doing is just like gaining weight. And I think to finally be successful, something has to click up here. And something clicked for me. And it's the fact that I just, I beat discomfort. Discomfort, discomfort, okay. discomfort. You guys are going to hear this word from me I know, a lot. I hate lecture Lynn too, Jamie. But you know what? Amber's cured all of her addictions, guys. So let's, uh... Let's uh take advice from her right now. <laughs> Large Lynn. <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> oh, that was <laughs> I'm sorry, anyway. Uh yeah, that's a good point. I only said, well, not to mention all these attempts lasted what, a day? Yeah, but that's because then she would get a craving, but now Amber's cured herself of that hater. Probably gonna get really freaking annoyed, but I have come to terms that that is what is holding me back and that is what has been messing me up because every time I feel that uncomfortable feeling and I have to sit there with my feelings and I have to sit there and process, why do you really want to eat right now? Because your ass is not- See, I told you guys that this would be the- I told you guys this was going to be the one thing that worked because all Amber had to do was sit. See, she's sitting, which is the most important thing. She's sitting. That's all she has to do, sit. And feels the discomfort, but ultimate, but she's just sitting. So I thought this one would actually work. She didn't have to do anything else but sit. I'm great. Normally those are the times where I would cave and I don't, I didn't want to like dive deeper into how I'm feeling and all that stuff. But now that I'm willing to do that, it has just made this journey so much easier. Next mm -hmm. question. I know, thank you for the amber splaining. That was a good <laughs> That was good, Anna. <laughs> Are you afraid that getting weight loss surgery will make your relationship with food more complicated? No, I don't. Because right now my relationship with food isn't complicated at all. This is the healthiest mindset wise, the healthiest I have been with food, I think my whole life. And I can say that with my full chest, oh like my whole life I have not felt so at ease around food okay once again it's been a few weeks not to mention i don't want to use the m word but i think that uh she's excited about the surgery coming up so i think that's what's going on i am understanding nutrition more because i now see a dietitian um at the weight loss clinic where i want to get weight loss okay, surgery she saw the dietitian once and i took a dietitian course and it's like Okay, God, so you are cured, Amber. Everything that I have her full chest. That's right, Liz. Not just half her chest. No, the whole chest we're looking at right now, guys. Before, I was obviously right, but I never took those steps in my weight loss journey. So was she gonna wait, hold on. Is she gonna go talk to the psychologist and be like, I'm cured? I <laughs> Right, Jamie said she always jumps the gun and celebrates before doing anything. It's <laughs> celebration in incoming. While <laughs> accepting right, the one course. One like she she talks about in the last video I literally just reacted to. <laughs> discomfort. Again, we're back with that discomfort. Like that is literally it for me. And it's like if you understand, you understand. And if you don't, you don't. And you're probably looking at me like I have a third head. Third question. Okay. Speaking of threes. <laughs> Do you see any coincidence between reading comments, good or and bad, and how you do with food? So when I read this question, I what I am taking out of it is the person's asking, when you're reading comments and you see a bad comment, does it make you eat? And when you see a good comment, does it make you stay on track? That's kind of what I took out of it. Okay. I could be wrong. So if I am... I mean, nothing or nobody makes you do anything. I hope you realize that, Amber, but continue. Reading that question wrong, I'm sorry. I do not read comments under my videos anymore. Okay. I right, have Amber. only done it one time this year, and I have been very open and honest. And so don't bother leaving her a comment. She doesn't read them, everybody. That, and when I did it, it made me feel like utter crap. I do read comments under my community posts because that is the reason why I post on there is for course. You all think she asked herself this question. 
comments, but I cannot read the comments right now because it does mess with my mental, like absolutely. There has been more times than I can count when I would be sitting there reading the comments and they were just like mean over and over and over, making me feel just horrible about myself. And I would turn to food to numb that and to feel better. So yes, <laughs> I do notice a coincidence between the two. Fourth question. Okay, so she just had a, she just had to slip that jab in there that it, it was our fault that she over overate. Even though like she's cured of her denial and anger, apparently, but she's just still had to slip in a little denial and anger because I'm pretty positive those comments didn't make you do anything. I'm pretty positive those comments didn't reach through the screen and hand you a burger. So, <laughs> right, it's our fault again. And she didn't elaborate. She didn't go on to say, but ultimately it was me, that blah, blah. No, she just blamed us and moved on. So I, I don't really see, I mean, I, I, I just saw a lot of denial right there. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> we couldn't go not one video without it. She makes a video apparently claiming responsibility for herself and actions, but still managed to blame us for something. What is your favorite fruit and vegetable? Oh my gosh, okay. I have points. Skeptical Zombie points out that uh, Amber's been overeating since before YouTube. <laughs> like, so what was the excuse then, Amber? Been obsessed with fruit and vegetables lately. I don't know what it is. I've been eating broccoli daily. Broccoli, okay. that's my favorite right now. She's obsessed uh, with fruits and vegetables. Oh, that's right. Katie reminds me that uh, Amber's a new woman. She loves her fruits and vegetables and her little snack plate and all that. I love broccoli. I love how I make it. Feline loves how I make it. I have been cooking majority of our meals and I have just been trying to experiment a little bit more and I've just been truly enjoying my time in the kitchen and that's very strange for me to say. But well, it's strange for me to hear too because I never see anything. Oh. I never actually get to see any of these fancy meals that apparently she's making all the time. It's just because, like I said before, I, it, things aren't complicated. I know what I'm allowed to eat and I know what triggers me, so I don't have those things. Okay. It's really not that complicated. I know how to have normal servings and it's feeling good on my body. It's showing up on the okay. scale. So taking out the complication of like cooking and just like kind of enjoying it and just like having tons of healthy food in the home has helped me a lot. But as for favorite f No, no, no. Broccoli isn't a binge trigger food anymore, White Winter. Not anymore because now she's been awakened and she beat food addiction, denial, and anger. Hello? Where have you been? Fruit. Oh my God. Not anymore. <sighs> I'm gonna say pineapple. I'm gonna say a nice ripe pineapple. pineapple. Nothing tastes better. Like it literally tastes like candy. Last question. When is the last time you binged? I have not binged. Oh my gosh. It's, I think it's been three weeks, two weeks, two to three weeks. All right, well, the last I time she showed us a binge, it was an average meal. So I'm not, I, so is she just like having like finger foods or something? Not binged. So there is a such thing as someone who binges versus someone who has binge eating disorder. Those two things can happen separately. <laughs> and what I mean by that and what I have recently learned and actually what my psychologist has told me as well is that you don't have to have binge eating disorder to binge on occasion. I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a doctor, so I'm just not gonna get into that. And there were times during my appointments with my psychologist where she did present me with, it sounds to me like you just binge on occasion. And you know what? I think I used binge eating disorder as a crutch and as an excuse and ultimately as denial and I, I just didn't want to be like my parents. And okay. that's really all right. sad. All right, all right, I get it. I, I get it. Lainey, Lainey said, here we go again. I, I don't know. So I guess, I don't know what to say. I guess she's cured of the things. These are all the things that we already told you. And we were haters for saying. But now Amber agrees with us. <laughs> okay. That. Like, I have a binge eating disorder, guys. What do you expect? Like, we heard that for, like, a year. No, she doesn't have binge eating disorder anymore, KT Harps. 
like you said, like, right, exactly, Jamie. She said she was diagnosed with it last year, but. Right, Intuitive Duck said she almost got to a good point, but then she deflected to her parents. It's always easy to blame the parents for crappy stuff you do as an adult, isn't it? I was in such denial, and I didn't want to call myself an addict. And the reality is, I am addicted to junk, and I'm addicted to takeout, and that's just the reality. I'm, that's I'm... also just what I've been saying for the past nearly five years I've been reacting to Anne Boleyn. Anyway, so, so mad at past Amberlynn, even the Amberlynn from a month ago. Past Amberlynn from a few weeks ago. From I, uh. I'm so mad at her and I wish she wouldn't have been in such a denial for so long and in delusional land for so long. And or maybe listened to the people that were reacting to you instead of blocking us and stuff. That's something I'm working on in private and something I, I do want to share with you guys a lot of what I do talk to you guys about I do talk to professionals about so don't worry you don't have to say we'll talk to a professional about this I do Wait, I just really like want who? Is, she, is she even in therapy right now who is she talking to document my journey and if that includes the journey up here then I want to include that because I want to let people know that they're not alone. Things are possible. Obviously, Amber, stop. The, she wants to preach to us so bad. So bad. She talked to a dietitian once. Like, she just has got to preach to us and it's so weird. I call it out every time she does it. She's like telling us how to live life and how to address food issues and all the I don't know guys. Anyway. Our stories can be similar but they're not the same. So what might work for me might not work for you. Vice life, first. Co life coach Lynn. <laughs> but I know Funny. that there is a comfort feeling in not feeling alone. And I felt alone for so long. And I'm still over here, like, on YouTube, like, looking up weight loss journey or, like, you know, just things where I can feel like I can be connected to someone else. And obviously, you can find that sort of comfort with people around you in real life. Like, I do. Like, Feline is so there for me and my mom and my aunt. Like, mm -hmm. I, I have family and friends and people who are there for me. But I know that, like, technology is a thing. And... People sometimes just want to be their little introverted. Wait, did we get the weigh-in yet? Uh, Church of Lynn. That was good, Anna. And Old Man YouTube points out, what does this need to inspire? I don't get it. I know. It's like the weirdest thing. I have to call it out whenever I see it because I don't know why she wants to do that so bad. Like, who cares about other people? Worry about yourself and your journey. Like, she keeps wanting to preach some kind of message and she usually isn't clear with that message and usually doesn't stick with that message very long, but this is the message of the day. Oh, and they want to sit in their bed or sit on their couch or sit in their office like I do. And they just want to pop on YouTube or pop on TikTok or whatever it may be. Just go online and feel connected with someone else and listen to their story and stuff. And I know I'm inspired by others online. Oh no, wait, I wait. D-Clan said I've completely zoned out. I can't lie. So did I a little bit. I'm trying not to make it obvious. <laughs> I'm waiting to get to the weigh-in. I want people to be able to come on here and feel some sort of like connection. And I, I used to say all the time- I Delusions of grandeur. Is that what it is, Sarah? I can't imagine. I, I just don't know what drives that. Like wanting to inspire people. That, I mean, if if people are curious about how I'm going about doing something, I'm happy to share. But I don't like. I, I just. I don't know that like she's she really. It's like a driving force for her, inspiring people. It's crazy. I want to be an inspiration, and I still do. But more than anything, I just I don't want people to feel alone. I feel like I'm rambling and I don't even remember what I was talking about. <laughs> I 
literally don't. I'm just like rambling. So I know I said I was gonna answer five questions, but there is another one. Um, people were wondering if I went to a weight loss seminar online or if I did it in person. I did it online because right. I know there has been. Right, we did that seminar as well. Uh, mm -hmm. so I, I also attended the seminar. There really wasn't that much information on it other than, um, what is it? Is it here? These are the things she's supposed to be working on while she waits for weight loss surgery. She got this back in early January or something. And um, I didn't see her do any of these things. Apparently now she is. I remember that. Anyway. Confusion because I've been receiving Instagram messages about this. People think that my um, weight loss appointment was a seminar. No, it was not a seminar. Um, it was an appointment where we got to see the surgeon talk to us. We got to have a class with like dietitian and um, like the insurance people were there. It was like this whole education class. And then after the class you stayed and that was to see the dietitian one-on-one -on -one and to ask um, the surgeon or the insurance people any questions. And like uh, you saw the doctor there actually. I they like did my blood in. pressure. Last Sunday, I was 515.0 after losing five pounds that week. So yay me. And today I was 508.2. So that's 6.8 pounds. Wait, wait, wait. Now she's 508? She was 511 in the last one. Aren't they only a day apart? Wait, I literally just reacted to one and she was 511.6 and now she's 508 point something. Okay, well that's... Down in one week. So that's... That was a few days ago. So she lost a few pounds a few days ago. Maybe she went to the bathroom. Pretty I don't much know. seven huh? pounds. <laughs> but we can call it 6.8 because I like to be right on the dot there. So I'm down 6.8 pounds this week and I am very, very proud of that. I know weight tends to come 511 off. was Wednesday and now this is... Sunday, right? Okay. So she weighed herself on Wednesday and Sunday. But that's right, because she's got a weekly weigh-in and also a monthly weigh-in. Oh my god, my head is spinning. A little this bit like, quicker in the beginning. Because like she is so obsessed with these friggin' numbers. It's like... Anyway. And stuff like that. And yeah, I'm just feeling really good. Like I'm eating all my meals at home. I know I showed a snack plate in my last vlog. That is actually a meal. I just call it a snack plate because it feels very like snacky. So when I feel snacky, I wait for that um, sensation. Sorry, I have like hair stuck to my lip gloss. Your hair is too um, It was like making my face tickle. So if I'm feeling snacky that day, I don't like to snack throughout the day because it just, it's a triggering thing. So... I save that like sensation and that feeling for when I'm hungry and when it's time to actually eat a meal. And that is when I make my snack plate charcuterie board. And I have that as a meal. I don't know. It didn't uh, look like much of a meal. It looked like a literal snack plate. With a few shrimps and a few pieces of fruit and stuff. Anyway. Because I know I, sh I showed that in um, some of my recent vlogs. That's an actual meal that I'm eating. It's not. So that's one of her meals that she's spending time making in the kitchen? I yeah, that is a meal. That's not enough food, right, Megan? I don't know. I'd be hungry. That was like a few nuts, a few... I... All right. It's like I graze over it through the day. No, it's not a snack. Nothing like that. But it... Is right, not enough food to satiate. I anyway snack things like nuts, fruits, you know, cheese stick, things like that. So that is why I call it a snack plate. Yeah, it did look like rabbit food, D Clan. That looks like that looked like a snack. I all right. So, well. so I usually just have. I remember a binge for Amber is a burger and fries. So she's very dainty, and there's literally no reason for her to be the size she is. So anyway, those a day and then for my two other meals, I'll just like cook something and I do want to do a few cook what she keeps saying that I cook something I've been cooking that cooking what show me dang it like what I ate today videos, but I didn't want to like Start this way of eating and then just like automatically do what I ate today videos I wanted to wait until I was in a routine and I knew that this was working for me because you guys know I've done what I ate today videos in the past where it was like day one 
of a weight loss journey and then I would like fail. I wanted to be more successful in what I was doing so I can confidently show you guys, yeah, this is what I'm eating and this is how I'm losing weight. Yeah, Hiccuping Duck said we'll see how long this lasts. Thing. As you guys know, I am a little bit of a- You give this another week, Shelly? Wow, that's generous. Sodic, sodic, what? Sodic. I was trying to say a soda addict and I said sodic. Okay. Okay. I was drinking like four to five cans like this a day. And the dietitian at the weight loss clinic said and she keeps showing us a she's always got a can to show us whenever she talks about this, because this is the millionth time I've heard about her cutting back on soda. And even though she's apparently cutting back on soda soda, she always has a can around to demonstrate. Which I think is funny. Because, well, if you're not drinking soda, why do you always have a can of it available? Let's get you to down to about. two a day. So I was doing two a day for a bit, and now I'm doing one a day. So I'm very, okay. very proud of that change. Right. And another change... See, they didn't tell her to go down to one a day, but Amber, being the super patient that she is, she took it upon herself. She advocated for herself, and now she's only drinking one. She is the best weight loss pa surgery patient that there ever was. Um, I was drinking, like, no water. <laughs> Like, at all. And my goal is 64. You figure that maybe that has to do with your gallbladder issues? You're always, like, you blame the keto food, the whatever diet. You you blame everything. But have, like, maybe not drinking water and only drinking soda has something to do with it, too? And I'm not going to lie. It's been I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'm not a doctor. I don't have gallbladder issues. But I just... Can't help but think that maybe that might cause gallbladder issues too. Hard for me to get that 64 ounces. So at first I started, like I was only doing like 30 ounces a day and now I'm up to around like 40 to 50. So we're slowly, like things are changing okay. and moving and working and grooving. We're, do <laughs> we're doing I have things. no idea how people not drink water mags in, but there's actually a lot of people that don't. And I have no idea how you guys get by because my head... If it's been a while since I've had water, my head starts to... I, I just don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> There's a lot of people that don't do it. Actually, my sister was one of them, but she's been drinking water the past couple weeks. I, I, don't, I don't get it. And don't you, Do you guys have headaches all the time? Like, I get a headache. Jeez. I'm just feeling... I'm feeling really good, you guys. I have never felt more confident in my decision for weight loss surgery okay. and for just like sticking to a program I am Good. taking away. I knew she needed a program. That's another thing I've been saying. But don't mind me, what do I know? All of my control and I'm giving it to somebody else. Right. And I trust the surgeon. I trust these dietitians. Unlike the other surgeons and dietitians, she tries this one because this is a famous surgeon. So she, <laughs> so why didn't you trust the other ones? Trust this program wholeheartedly. That's true. She felt very, very confident about Octavia too, Hiccuping Duck. I remember my life's about to change. <laughs> it's very easy to get exciting about, excited about an eating program in the beginning. Just feeling good. I know I keep saying that in like yes. every video I'm like editing and I'm like, Amberlynn, you say that every day. You're just feeling good. Good okay. for you. Now stop showing off. Anyways, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for listening to this weigh-in video, and I will see you guys in the next. All right, so she's cured of everything, and she's losing weight, guys. What do we all think? You want to look at Rosie now? Yes, it, it, he's a designer surgeon. He was on TV, TV and everything, guys. <laughs> we all know that guy. I still haven't watched Thousand Pound Sisters, by the way. I know it's been back, and I just haven't. There's been several episodes by now, I'm sure. Plus, I didn't watch the new 90 Day uh, the other way. I think there's been two episodes of that. I'm so behind. All I've been watching is, like, football content and stuff. Not another sock puppet said she didn't want, Be she didn't want Becky and Dana to get skinny before she did. It may have something to do with it. If you guys didn't catch, uh, I did a reading about her weight loss surgery. It's in the members section. Uh... It's my most recent members video. I did a reading. So you guys can check that out if you haven't yet. I'm not holding my breath either, Jamie. At this point, I can't anymore when I watch Amber. <laughs> this... 
I know. Skeptical Zombie said catch up so we can talk about it. I'll definitely catch up. I'll probably catch up after the Super Bowl. I'm going to be honest. There keeps being football content uploaded that I want to watch. And it's been a huge time waste. And the only reason, guys, that I'm so into football this year is because my team, the Eagles, are so good this year. Usually they're not this good. So usually I'm not so obsessed during football season. Plus they're going to the Super Bowl. We haven't done that in a while. So I'm ex that, that's the only reason, guys. And then it after Sunday, it'll be over, okay? <laughs> you saw a picture of Becky? She looks good. Where'd you see that picture, Carrie? And then I really got to wrap this up because the kids are going to be home soon. I'm blue in the face. Who said that? Anna, you think I'm blue in the face? That's not good. Oh, my God. Really? Why am I blue in the face? Or was that a joke? Now I'm paranoid. I've got to... Let me make my light warmer. How's that? <laughs> That's right. Go sports, White Winter Fox. <laughs> Post it online somewhere. I'll have to see it. I have to, you know, it's probably on Reddit somewhere. That's right. Amber is cured and teaching others now. Absolutely six bacons. All right, guys. Well, I have to, uh, I have to update my thumbnail and stuff now. So I should get to that. But guys, thank you so much for coming. And the next time Amber Lynn uploads, I'll be live the next day around noon. So definitely keep an eye out for that. I haven't, oh, because I've been holding my breath for too long. <laughs> now I get it. And you're making me paranoid. I looked, I looked, uh, I looked uh, fair or something. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not blue. Thank you. God, that made me paranoid. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'll be live uh, the next time. The next time Amberlynn uploads, I'll be live around noon. Um, I'm sure I'll be doing a member stream in between. So keep an eye out. I'll be uploading or I'll be updating my community tab before I have a member stream. So you guys have. I think I want to stream uh, doing my hair routine. I'm about to get a new co-wash today that I'm probably going to use tomorrow. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll stream doing my hair routine. And other than that, guys, I hope you guys have a really great day. I hope you have a good week. It's Monday. Let's get it. All right, guys. I hope you